Success is not an accident, it is a skill. It is predictable and can be learned. This skill can be acquired by anyone. The sooner you learn this skill and become proficient in the principles of success, the sooner you will achieve the great things you were born to accomplish. Many believe that intelligence is the key to success, but research shows that many self-made millionaires have only average intelligence. What sets them apart is their relentless pursuit of learning and improvement. They remain humble and constantly seek new knowledge. An average person with clear goals can surpass even the most brilliant minds if they are dedicated to their objectives. Self-made millionaires often work over 60 hours per week, a common trait among them. In our society, the standard 8-hour workday is for survival. Anything beyond that is for success. Every 12 minutes, someone in America becomes a millionaire. This rapid pace of success is achievable because we now have more knowledge about achieving success than ever before. Success has become a science with proven principles that anyone can follow. The first step towards success is making a firm decision to be successful. Unfortunately, many people never make this decision, which leads to a lifetime of mediocrity. The second step is to learn from experts in the field. Successful individuals have paved the way for others to follow. By studying their methods and implementing them in our own lives, we increase our chances of success. It's surprising how few people actively seek out knowledge on success, despite their desire to achieve it. Simply wanting success is not enough. One must actively pursue it through learning and action. I experienced this firsthand in my own journey. At 25, I built a successful sales force spanning six countries, generating substantial revenue. However, I lost sight of the principles that led to my initial success and found myself in debt by age 30. It was then that I made a conscious decision to reclaim my success. Drawing from years of study and practice, I developed a simple yet effective system based on proven principles. Within five years, I had multiplied my income significantly. The key takeaway from my experience is this. Design a success system and diligently follow it. A system based on sound principles is infinitely more effective than relying on chance. This principle applies not only to individuals but also to businesses. Established franchises boast success rates of 70 to 90 percent, thanks to their proven systems. Conversely, businesses started by inexperienced individuals face a staggering 99 percent failure rate. Success is not solely determined by external factors but also by one's internal state. Self-esteem plays a crucial role in achieving success. How much you value yourself and believe in your ability significantly impacts your trajectory in life. By cultivating a positive self-image and surrounding yourself with supportive, success-oriented individuals, you set yourself up for success. In conclusion, success is attainable for anyone who is willing to learn and take action. By embracing proven success methods, cultivating self-esteem, and aligning with positive influences, you can unlock your full potential and achieve the life you desire. Remember, success is not an accident. It is a deliberate outcome of consistent effort and dedication. In the vast landscape of personal development and financial success, one recurring theme echoes loudly. The indispensable role of personal discipline in the pursuit of wealth. While the idea of getting rich may conjure images of overnight success or strokes of luck, the truth is that lasting wealth is built on a foundation of disciplined action. The journey to financial abundance begins with a commitment to self-mastery. From setting clear financial goals to creating a budget and sticking to it, disciplined individuals understand the importance of consistency and self-control in managing their finances. They prioritize saving and investing over instant gratification, recognizing that delaying gratification is the hallmark of financial success. Moreover, personal discipline extends beyond just financial habits. It encompasses all aspects of life, including health, relationships, and personal growth. Disciplined individuals prioritize self-care and well-being, knowing that a healthy body and mind are essential for sustained success. They invest in continuous learning and self-improvement, seeking out opportunities for growth and development in every area of life. While the path to wealth may not always be easy, disciplined action paves the way for enduring prosperity and fulfillment. So, if you're ready to embark on the journey to financial abundance, remember this. Getting rich is easy when you master the art of personal discipline. Now, let me share with you what has been discovered by interviewing self-made millionaires. Self-made millionaires look for something positive in every failure. 
They say, there must be something good in this that I can benefit from, and, surprise, surprise, they always find it. Secondly, self-made millionaires always look for the valuable lesson in every setback, obstacle, or temporary failure, and they always find the lesson. What do failures do? They complain, cry, and dwell on what they've lost, blaming others for their problems. Successful people say, what can I learn from this that will make me smarter next time? And I promise you, those who seek, find. If you look for a valuable lesson in the biggest problem you're facing today, you'll always find the lesson. Here's another possibility. Your biggest problem today could be the greatest gift you've ever received, as it may contain the lesson that will make you successful. If you stop thinking about what happened and who's to blame and start looking for the gift within your problem, it can sometimes transform your life. The next key is to dedicate yourself to continuous learning. What takes you from nothing to wealth is personal development and professional development. As Peter Drucker says, knowledge and skill are the keys of the 20th century. And the only relevant skill in the 21st century is the ability to learn new skills. Because virtually everything you know is becoming obsolete at a rapid pace. Even says that your current knowledge base has a half-life of two years. Meaning half of what you know will be irrelevant in two years, and two years later, another half. So, if you're not constantly learning and improving your knowledge and skills, you're not standing still. As Pat Riley, the basketball coach, says, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. If you're not constantly learning, you're actually falling behind. Here are the three keys to continuous learning. First, read in your field for 30 to 60 minutes every day. In other words, turn off the TV, turn off the radio, put aside the newspaper, and just read in your field. The best places to read, by the way, are books written by the most successful people in your field, because books contain a wealth of knowledge that will allow you to operate at a much higher level and achieve much better results than you could before. So, read for 30 to 60 minutes a day. I've had people tell me countless times over the years that reading an hour a day has doubled and tripled their income in a year. Second, take every course you can in your field. The courses and seminars available to you in your field, taught by professionals, have been developed for years and years and have been tested over and over again. The person speaking to you for several hours have been spent learning their subject, tested with thousands of other people. When you take a course, you can learn enough information in one or two days more than you could learn in two or three years or even a lifetime. All distilled and gathered, people say they can't afford a course, but you can't afford not to buy books. You can't afford not to go to courses. A few years ago, a very successful dentist recommended by a friend retired at 53. Just before retiring, he sold his practice for about $2 million. Before retiring, he said to me, about eight years ago, I attended a dental congress in Hong Kong. He flew from California to Hong Kong to attend this international dental congress because there were specialists giving private lectures sort of plenary sessions. He attended a session on a unique aesthetic surgery technique at a dental conference. This technique, developed by another dentist, allowed for the straightening of a person's entire front jaw to enhance its appearance at a remarkably low cost and with exceptional effectiveness. Upon learning about this groundbreaking technique, the dentist wasted no time in implementing it into his practice. Soon, people from far and wide began flocking to him, traveling hundreds of miles just to benefit from this revolutionary procedure. His reputation soared, and soon enough, Every dentist in the area was referring their patients to him. With demand skyrocketing, the dentist found himself in a position to set his prices as he saw fit. Before long, he was charging a premium for his services, and his practice became synonymous with excellence in aesthetic dentistry. Fast forward eight years, and this dentist, now in his early fifties, made the decision to retire as a self-made millionaire. Thanks to the knowledge he acquired from that single session at the conference, he had transformed his career, his financial situation, and his life. Now, you might think this story is an exception, but it serves as a powerful reminder that opportunities can present themselves in unexpected ways. You never know when a piece of information or a chance encounter could change the trajectory of your life forever. So, stay open to learning, be proactive in seeking out new knowledge, and always be ready to seize the opportunities that come your way. Who knows, the next life-changing idea could be just around the corner. The third way to improve your skills is to listen to audio programs in your car. The average driver spends 500 to 1,000 hours a year covering 25 to 50,000 miles, according to the University of Southern California. 
If you listen to audio programs in your car, you'll get the equivalent of almost attending college full-time just by listening to learning material while driving. It can completely and profoundly change your life. Very importantly, here's an interesting point. The more you commit to being the best person you can be, the more you like and respect yourself. The more energy you have, the bigger goals you set, the more you persist. When you invest in yourself and read, learn, and improve your skills, you're telling yourself, wow, I'm a person with a great future, and it's up to me to maximize my potential. Your self-esteem goes up, your self-respect increases, your sense of personal pride rises, and you start to earn more in all areas of your life. Surround yourself with the right people. This is a key to becoming a self-made millionaire. Dr. David McClend at Harvard conducted studies for 25 years to understand why some people are highly successful in life. What he found was that the key to completely transforming the way you think is to change the group of people you surround yourself with. We're like chameleons, absorbing through our skin the attitudes, opinions, behaviors, dress styles, and ways of speaking of the people we associate with most of the time. If you start to associate mainly with winners, you'll notice they have a completely different outlook. They're positive, optimistic, focused, always learning, growing, and confident in what they do. And amazingly, you start to adopt those characteristics. Another key is to be prepared to go from peak to peak. Life is not a continuous train. It always has ups and downs, like climbing and descending a mountain. Everything in life is cycles and trends. There are upward and downward cycles and trends. The question is, what is the general direction of your trend? Life involves two steps forward and one step back. Successful people focus on the two steps forward and cushion the fall so that every time they step back, they're still further ahead than they were before. Another important aspect is to develop resilience and bounce back ability. This skill is crucial for self-made millionaires, as most things won't work out as expected. You'll face setbacks over and over again, and the key is to bounce back instead of breaking down. Learn to apply the mental rehearsal technique. Mentally prepare for adversity before it happens. Decide not to be upset, angry, or frustrated when something goes wrong. Learn from it, get up, and move on. Remember that facing problems is a constant part of life. The key is not to avoid problems but to be proactive in seeking solutions. Superior people, according to 30 years of research, excel in how they respond to crises and handle problems. They don't allow problems to affect them emotionally but intensely focus on finding solutions. One last important piece of advice. Take your main goal and turn it into a clear question. For example, if your goal is to double your income, ask yourself, what can I do to double my income in the next 12 months? Then write down at least 20 answers. This exercise, called Mind Storming or the 20 Ideas Method, has transformed the lives of many people and led to the creation of millionaires. Once you have your answers, choose one and act on it immediately. This will keep you thinking and acting creatively all day long. Another key element to becoming a self-made millionaire is to adopt unwavering optimism. Optimists possess a unique outlook on life. They consistently focus on what they desire, seeking the silver lining in every situation and eagerly embracing valuable lessons along the way. Their minds are like sponges constantly absorbing great ideas that broaden their horizons and open up new possibilities. It's this unwavering optimism that propels them to learn more, explore new avenues, and persevere in the face of adversity. Maintaining a steadfast focus on your goals and cultivating an attitude of unwavering optimism is key to navigating the path to success. Decide unequivocally that once you've set your sights on achieving wealth, nothing will deter you from reaching that goal. Understand that setbacks and challenges are inevitable on this journey. Like a determined football player maneuvering down the field, you may encounter obstacles, shifts, and setbacks, but your eyes remain fixed on the ultimate prize. Now let's explore two critical qualities exhibited by self-made millionaires, courage and persistence. Fear of failure often stands as the biggest barrier to success. However, courage serves as the antidote to this. Fear. To succeed, you need two types of courage. The courage to take that initial leap into the unknown and the courage to persevere despite setbacks. The first requires you to dive in without the safety net of guarantees, embracing action and learning along the way. The second type of courage is the determination to keep moving forward, no matter how many times you may stumble or fall. Decide in advance that giving up is not an option for you.
Make a commitment to yourself that regardless of the challenges you face, you will never waver in your pursuit of success. Interestingly, when you firmly establish this mindset, you'll find yourself resiliently bouncing back from setbacks time and time again. With courage and persistence as your guiding lights, you'll navigate the twists and turns of your journey with unwavering resolve, ultimately emerging victorious in your quest for wealth and success. Personal discipline is the master key to wealth. It's the ability to make yourself do what you should do when you should do it, regardless of how you feel. Self-discipline is the quality that will make you a great success. It's the ability to force yourself to do what you know you should do. Persistence is self-discipline in action. Every time you persist, you build your self-discipline. Every time you practice self-discipline, you build your ability to persist. Both are linked to your self-esteem. The more you persist, the more you like yourself, and the more you like yourself, the more discipline you have. And the more discipline you practice, the more you like yourself. As a result, you persist more until you reach a higher spiral where you become absolutely unstoppable. You reach the point where you know you can achieve the goal, and nothing in the world can stop you. Every step you take forward makes you stronger and stronger until finally people say one thing about him or her. You can't stop him or her. Once they've decided they want something, they won't stop until they get it. Developing that quality will make nothing seem impossible, so let me leave you with. In these last points, we are living in the greatest time in all of human history. More people are going to make more money in the next few years than has been made in all of human history. More people will become millionaires and are becoming millionaires today at a faster rate than we ever thought possible. And no one is better than you, and no one is smarter than you. If you do what other self-made millionaires do, then nothing in the world can eventually stop you from achieving the same results as other self-made millionaires. A beautiful line I read not long ago says, the best way to predict the future is to create it, which means having a vision. And though the vision may be in the air or in the sky, build a foundation under your dreams. When you see men and women emerging from poverty and darkness to fame and renown, invariably, you see someone who had a vision of what they could be, have, and do that was far beyond what they were. Ben Trigo, the strategic thinker, said, the worst thing in the world is to efficiently do what doesn't need to be done at all. Many of us work very hard to efficiently do what doesn't need to be done at all. Anyone who has had employees will tell you that every day, you find your employees doing something very diligently but is completely irrelevant to the success of the business. So focus on results. Here's a key question to ask yourself in your work life. What results are expected of me? Not what activities, but what results or what outputs am I supposed to generate in my work? The second question you can ask yourself is, why am I on the payroll? What results are expected of me? The results expected of us in sales are sales, and the only time we are working is when we are doing something that directly contributes to that result. But why do we do other things? I've come to the conviction that the reason we do other things is because they are fun and easy rather than being difficult and necessary. I think the main reason people fail in life is due to the convenience factor, that we always do and always take the fastest and easiest route to get the things we want. But the fastest and easiest route in life is almost always the route to failure. It's short-term gain for long-term pain. We do it because it's something comfortable and easy today instead of what's difficult and necessary. And then we have to do what's difficult and necessary at the end of our lives when it's too late. And you'll find that the willingness and the ability to discipline yourself, to be clear about what you want, to be clear about where you're heading, to be clear about the results expected of you to achieve, and then just work on those results. The ability to discipline yourself to do so is absolutely crucial for success. It's impossible to conceive of a successful person who isn't able to discipline themselves to do what's difficult and necessary instead of what's fun and easy. And especially when it comes to managing your time, when it comes to seeing what you should do day by day, focus on the results, not the activities. Now let me give you a method that has helped me. Write down your goals. All goals have to be in writing, by the way. If you don't have them written down, then they're really not goals at all, they're just wishes. And as they say, a wish is just a goal without any energy behind it. Have your goals in writing. Write them down very specifically and clearly. And then do this every morning. Rewrite your major goals in the first person singular as if they already exist. Rewrite your major goals every morning. This should take you about two to five minutes. You can do it all in one paragraph. For example, if your goal is to earn $50,000 a year, every morning write, 
I earn $50,000 a year. If your goal is to excel in real estate, right, I am an excellent seller in my field. If your goal is to weigh a certain number of pounds, if your goal is to enjoy a certain type of life, write your major goals in the first person singular as if they already exist. Do this every morning, and then every evening, take about 5 or 10 minutes instead of watching TV. Just before you turn it on, say, wait a second, I had to check my progress. Sit down and review what you've done during the day. Ask yourself, what have I done well today that has brought me closer to my goals? And the second question is, what would I do differently if I had to live today again? Those four steps. Writing and rewriting your goals every morning, reviewing them at night, and asking yourself those two questions. What did I do well that brought me closer to my goals today? And what would I do differently if I had the day to live again? If you ask yourself those two questions over the next 30 days, you'll achieve more than you've achieved in the last six months. This is the most incredible method I've seen. I learned it a few years ago. Just rewrite your goals every morning. The only problem with goals is that we don't set enough of them, and we don't set them high enough. You can have everything you want. Whatever you want, imagine you can have everything you want. Anything you can keep in your mind continuously, you can have it. Anything you're crystal clear about wanting and willing to pay the price to get it, you can have it. So clarity is the key. Have clarity about what you want. Have clarity about what you have to do to get it. Have clarity about your vision. Speak, walk, talk, and act with clarity. And that's the final point regarding clarity. In conclusion, remember that getting rich is not about luck or chance. It's about personal discipline and deliberate action. By mastering the art of discipline, you hold the key to unlocking the doors of wealth and abundance. It's a journey that requires dedication. Allow me to share with you a fundamental truth that has the power to shape the very course of your life. You become what you think most of the time. Yes, you heard me right. Your thoughts, my friends, hold the key to your destiny. For it is not the circumstances of our lives, but the thoughts we nurture within our minds that determine our reality. Every action, every achievement, every success begins as a mere thought, a whisper of possibility in the recesses of our consciousness. And as we nurture these thoughts, as we feed them with belief, determination, and unwavering focus, they take root and blossom into the reality we inhabit. So, I urge you to pause and reflect on the nature of your thoughts. What occupies your mind most of the time? Are they thoughts of success, of abundance, of possibility? Or do you find yourself mired in doubt, fear, and negativity? Remember, you have the power to choose your thoughts. You have the power to shape your destiny. So, dare to dream big. Believe in the limitless potential within you. For as you think, so shall you become. What we do in life, from beginning to end, is solve problems. Throughout your life, you'll be solving problems, small ones like running out of toothpaste at home, and big ones like your client canceling an order, among others. And the better you become at it, it almost becomes automatic. There comes a point where people start coming to you and say, I have this problem, and you seem to solve problems. What can we do? I teach this all the time. Instead of reacting to a problem with anger or disappointment, I tell them, wait a moment. Whatever it is, I can solve it. I just have to find a way to do it. And it never occurs to them that they can do it too. Sometimes you'll have solutions that don't work at all and that are very expensive or even fail. And there's not much you can do about those. But basically, most things can be solved. One of the things I say is that nothing makes you angrier than seeing someone dumber than you doing better than you. You wonder, how can this idiot be doing so well? It's like when I went to the top salespeople and asked them why they were so successful. They told me what they were doing, I did it, and I sold more. One of the biggest success principles you'll find is learning from experts. Learning from people who are already demonstrating the results you want to achieve. You can save yourself years of hard work simply by learning from people who have already learned it themselves. The clearer you are about what you're trying to achieve, the faster you'll achieve it. And in fact, people with clearly written goals and plans, with priorities, achieve 10 times more in life than people without them. Be clear about your top three tasks and help everyone else be clear about their top three tasks so everyone is always working on the three most important things they can do. And you hire other people who can do the task at a lower cost than your top people. That's the leader's task. Decide on your goals and your most important goal and then start each day with a list. Then you look at your list and ask yourself, if I could only do one thing on this list, what activity or task would I want to make sure I completed before leaving town for a month? 
That becomes your most important task for the day. It's your biggest task, the one you're most likely to procrastinate on, but also the one that will have the greatest positive impact on your career if you do it now. If you have two really important tasks, make one more important, and discipline is working with a single focus on that task no matter what happens. Stick with that task because you've now decided that everything else is relative and a waste of time except this task. If you can do that and develop the habit, you'll double your productivity on the first day, and it will continue to increase throughout your career. Everyone wants to feel like winners. Ulamandis doesn't yearn for that triumphant sensation of victory, the elation of crossing the finish line first, basking in the glory of achievement. But how does one attain such a sensation, you may ask? The answer, my friends, lies in the power of setting and conquering goals. With every task accomplished, no matter how small, you experience a taste of victory. Your self-esteem soars, your confidence blossoms, and joy radiates from within. It's as if each completed task is a stepping stone to greatness, propelling you forward on the path to success. And what about those pivotal moments when you choose to tackle your most important task head-on, pushing yourself to the limits until the wee hours of the morning, despite the fatigue that may weigh heavy upon your shoulders? There's a sense of exhilaration that courses through your veins, a feeling so addictive, so invigorating, that you find yourself craving it time and time again. These are the moments that fuel what I like to call positive addictions. They stem from the fulfillment derived from setting and achieving tasks that hold profound significance in our lives. So, I implore you, embrace the power of setting meaningful goals. For in their pursuit lies the key to unlocking your fullest potential. When you're happy all the time, when you're respected and appreciated by the people around you, and you feel proud, you have a positive self-image and people appreciate you. You'll make more money. Make a list, identify your most important task, start with that and stick with it until it's done. However, world-class people have a much bigger vision of what's possible for them. Imagine that you could go from X to your current income to 10 times your current income, and your first response to that is that it's completely absurd. There's no way I can increase my income 10 times. It's not possible. All you need to do now is to do the same things you did to double or triple your income, and it will double or triple again and then you will increase it fourfold. There are people all over the world earning 10 times more than you, and they're not better or smarter than you. Most of us start to develop narrow thinking around our current income, and then we adjust our lives, force our entire world to fit our current income, while successful people create a vision. So when you start to think, well, if your business were world class, if you were world class, how would you be different for today? This is the key. Take the first step. The first step forces you out of your comfort zone, and the comfort zone is so strong that probably 90% of people are limited in their maximum potential all their lives because of this comfort zone. And when you take the first step, the only way to do it is to step out of it, and suddenly you see the second step and the third step and the fourth step. And as you take those steps, your self-esteem increases, your self-confidence increases, and you become more creative, and you start to think of all sorts of ideas. 85% of self-made millionaires, when asked how they became millionaires with all the competition, said it was hard work, and I haven't found any exceptions to that worldwide, in all languages and cultures. Successful people work harder than the average person, and very hard at the beginning of their careers. Sometimes they work 6 days a week, 59 hours, and sometimes 7 days a week in 8 hours. The average is 59 hours, 6 days a week. Everyone wants to be successful, and nobody is better or smarter than you. All the negative activities in your life, all the failures and frustrations, all the negative emotions, come from your lack of acceptance of responsibility. Have you ever noticed how easy it is for people to dwell on past hurts and grievances? It's as if they're carrying the weight of resentment on their shoulders, burdening themselves with the actions of others. But let me share with you three profound insights that have the power to transform your life. The first revelation came to me when I realized the importance of setting goals. If you desire to multiply your income tenfold, it all begins with a simple act, writing down your goals. But don't stop there, my friends. Craft a detailed plan of action and commit to it with unwavering determination. Each day, take deliberate steps towards your goals and watch as your dreams manifest into reality. Now, on to the second point, continuous learning. Consider this, my friends. Every titan of industry, every billionaire magnate has one thing in common. They are relentless students of life. 
Think of luminaries like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Richard Branson. They didn't achieve success by chance. No, they dedicated themselves to the pursuit of knowledge, investing countless hours into expanding their minds. Warren Buffett himself devours 500 pages of wisdom each day, a testament to the power of continuous learning. And finally, my friends, let me ask you this. Why aren't you doubling your income and soon? The path to prosperity lies not in idleness, but in action. So seize the opportunity before you, my friends. Embrace the power of goal setting, commit to a lifetime of learning, and watch as the universe unfolds its abundance before your very eyes. If you ask the question, the answer will appear. And then, just start doing what you need to do every day. Then read, learn, listen, improve your skills. Because you can learn anything you need to learn. And the more you learn, the more you'll be able to learn. Your level of self-esteem or self-worth, your sense of self-value, how much you like and respect yourself, determines the overall quality of your life. All the positive things you do increase your self-esteem, improve your self-image, improve the quality of your relationships with other people, and allow you to have a wonderful life. Here are seven rules you can apply to achieve anything you want. 1. Take reaching the top seriously. Until you decide that by all means, you're going to be the best at what you do. You won't emerge under the sun, and your life won't be forever different. 2. Take excellent care of your health. Some people don't do well because they don't feel well. Since the mind and body work together, you must take care of the body as a support system. 3. Surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with positive individuals, with people who have goals and plans, with people who are going somewhere in their lives and have high aspirations. 4. Find out what's holding you back. The only thing that restricts what you do is your own thinking. Take your current income or your best income year and add a zero to it as your goal. 5. Positive visualization. Become like the best in your field. Your self-image controls your performance. If you see yourself as a success, if you see yourself as happy and positive and confident and in control, you will act that way towards others. 6. Positive self-talk. Sometimes the only good things you'll hear about yourself are the things you tell yourself. Start building yourself up, encouraging yourself, and begin saying, I can do this. 7. Positive action. When you have a good idea, do it now. Only 2% of people in our society have a bias for action. Resolve that every time you have an idea or something to do, the faster you move, the better you'll be and become. As we draw our discussion to a close, I want to leave you with a powerful reminder. The thoughts you entertain most frequently have the power to shape your destiny. You have witnessed today the profound truth that your mind is a fertile garden capable of yielding the fruits of your deepest desires or the weeds of your greatest fears. But remember, my friends, the power lies within you to cultivate a garden of abundance, success, and fulfillment. Each day, as you awaken to the dawn of possibility, choose your thoughts with intention, with purpose, and with unwavering belief in your inherent potential. Do not be swayed by the wind of doubt or the storms of adversity, for within you lies the strength to weather any tempest and emerge victorious. Nurture your dreams, my friends. Water them with faith, with determination, and with the unwavering conviction that you are destined for greatness. And so, as you journey forth from this moment, let your thoughts be a beacon of hope, a guiding light illuminating the path to your brightest future. For remember, my friends, you become what you think most of the time. With that,